With headquarters in Washington, D.C., the Global Fund for Children works to empower youth around the world. Maya Ajmera, founder and director, explains that her organization gives out small grants to innovative community-based organizations working with vulnerable children and youth. So we have early childhood programs to programs working with young men. Do you, uh, do you have countries that you think are doing very well in terms of... Uh, not only protecting child rights, but also giving the, you know the, your, your four priority areas, to countries that have done very I think, well. I mean, I in think developing that, countries. Yeah, I, I, I think there the NGO community is so vibrant in working on tackling these issues. I do think, like in Ghana, for example, we f support a group called Apple, and it is a group that works with children who are trafficked from the fishing villages, and they reintegrate them with their families. They rescue the kids and reintegrate them into families who um, they were actually sold or trafficked as children. Maya says that she was inspired as a student when she visited India and saw how local people were creatively working to solve problems plaguing their communities. I ended up having this moment of obligation of how do we bring small amounts of money to these very creative indigenous organizations led by extraordinary leaders. And we ended up, I started the Global Fund for Children with that premise, and we ended up making our first grants um, in India and Africa and Asia. Okay. And our first grant we made was to a group called Children's Town in Zambia. And it is um, a town that's literally run by young people who are AIDS orphans. Mm. And I'll never forget when we reached out to um, Children's Town. We went to uh, a group in Lusaka, Zambia, um, that that uh, works on a group called Children in Need. And we asked them, can you recommend any small indigenous organizations to us? And they said, Children's Town. It's a town run by young people themselves. They're AIDS orphans. It's in rural Zambia. So my program officer uh, at that point, in our very young years, emailed Moses during the very years of internet, mm. and Moses Zulu was the, the head of it. And Moses did not email us back, and we thought, well, maybe he's just not interested. Bye. But I kept telling yourself, just just be patient. You know, the internet can go up and down in Zambia. We don't know. Just let's have some patience. That was like 14 years ago? Yeah. Oh, internet in Africa. <laughs> yeah, it didn't hardly exist. Well, let me just tell you, um, a, a month later, he emails back and said, please forgive me for answering your email so late, but I have to walk for two hours, catch a bus to Lusaka for four, to check my email twice a month. For Children's Town, we made a grant to their uh, residential boarding school of 300 young people, and to all the neighboring villages, they do health education and out outreach. Maya says that she's inspired by ingenious local entrepreneurs and activists who come up with smart, creative ways of addressing local, social, and economic issues. She gives an example of an Ethiopian librarian who promotes reading through a mobile library using donkeys. And we started supporting their mobile donkey project of a, a, a mobile library that carries books on a donkey through different villages. So that's, that's an example of a type of group we funded. We have funded um, a group in, in South Africa called Men on the Side of the Road. If you've been to South Africa on the major highways, you see a lot of young men and boys standing around looking for work. Well, what Men on the Side of the Road has done, this extraordinary social entrepreneur, what he did was he actually said, let's get these men and train them to do work. So he created a tool library where you can check out tools wow. and then you can do day labor. And then return them. And then return them. Incredible. She emphasizes that education is a very important long-term strategy that empowers people and the Global Fund for Children has it on top of its priorities. Every child has a right to an education. Every child and youth has a right to be safe. Every child and youth has a right to be healthy. And every child has a right to have a livelihood. Okay. So education is the key. For Voice of America, I'm Jackson Vungani.